Hi, I am Gladys. Welcome to my channel. In this video, let's see what is tunnel diode. Tunnel diode is a heavily doped PN junction diode which shows negative resistance. It works on the basis of tunneling effect. It means the electrons passes through the wall or the barrier and reappearing at the other side. It is also called Eseki diode, named after the inventor Leo Eseki, who invented in August 1957 and received Nobel Prize in 1973 in physics for discovering electron tunneling effect used in this diodes. This is the symbol of tunnel diode and tunnel diode is a two terminal device anode and cathode. This is the construction of tunnel diode. Gallium arsenide, gallium antimonide and germanium are used in the manufacturing of tunnel diode. The doped density is thousand times higher than the normal diode. A very small tin dot of 50 micrometer is soldered or alloyed to a heavily doped pellet which is of N type. The pellet is then soldered to a cover pedestal. The tin dot is connected to the cathode via a mesh screen to reduce the inductance. The cover forms the anode and cathode. The diode is covered by a ceramic body. So what is tunnel effect? So when the normal PN junction is forward biased and the depletion region decreases and the barrier height also decreases. The electrons in the n-type layer cannot penetrate through the depletion region because of the opposition of the inbuilt voltage. So when the applied external voltage is increased, when it is higher than the potential of the barrier voltage, it passes over the barrier and enters the P side. So unlike the normal PN junction diode, in tunnel diode, there is a high difference in the energy levels of P-type and N-type. The energy level of the conduction band and uh, valence band of N-type is lower than the P-type. So the conduction band of N-type overlaps with the valence band of the P-type. The depletion is very small in tunnel diode. So the electrons from N-type conduction band can directly pass through the barrier to the P-type valence band. So first step is when no voltage is applied that is unbiased tunnel diode. The diode is said to be in unbiased condition when no external voltage is applied. Since the tunnel diode is heavily doped and the conduction band of N-type is overlapped with the valence band of P-type, the holes from P-type passes into N-type and the electrons from the N-type passes into the P-type. But the net current is zero since equal number of charges flow through the opposite side. And step two is when small voltage is applied. When small voltage is applied, small amount of electrons from the conduction band of N-type passes through the barrier into the valence band of P-type. Thus, a small tunnel current is produced. Step 3 is when applied voltage is increased. When the applied voltage is increased, more number of free holes and electrons are generated and the conduction band of N-type and valence band of P-type becomes equal. So, maximum tunnel current flows. So, maximum current is flowing. Step 4 is when applied voltage is in increased further. When the applied voltage is further increased, Misalignment of the valence band of P-type and the conduction band of N-type takes place. 
so the flow of the tunnel current decreases step 5 is when applied voltage is largely increased so when it is further increased it behaves like normal pn uh, pn junction at that point the tunnel current is zero so this is the vi characteristics when the voltage is applied it starts conducting immediately because of its heavy doping when the voltage is increased further it shows negative resistance and the current decreases when the applied voltage is increased more it conducts like the normal diode the advantages are it is a low power device it is a low noise device it is a low cost device high speed fast response it is easy to operate the disadvantages are no isolation between input and output circuit since it is a two terminal device the output power is very low it is of only few milliwatts the applications are it is used in fm receivers because of its low power requirement it is used in high frequency components since it shows a fast response it is used as logic memory storage device it is used in high speed switches it is used in microwave circuits so thank you for watching if you like the video please like share and subscribe